Beautiful Aries, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. How are you guys doing? <laughs> you know I love reading for Aries. You guys are the best and thank you so much for coming in. And I also I wanted to thank you for all of your nice comments and some of you sent super chat thanks, cash and cash app donations and all kinds of stuff and you've made such nice um, comments about my dogs. <laughs> People have said, can Chippy be in every reading? So here's Chippy, I brought him a little treat. Here, Chippy. <laughs> and anyway, thank you all so much for um, um, for all of your nice comments and everything. You guys really support my channel, like, more than you might know. We have a huge Aries nation here. I'm all out of treats, Chippy. <laughs> I'm all out of treats. Say hi to Aries. Say hi to all your Aries viewers. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to see what's coming for you this last week of November. And um, let's just dive in here, okay? Aries energy. <clears throat> You're going to pull one, Chippy? <laughs> you are. You just want more snacks. I know. You just want more snacks. All right, let's see here. Now, Chippy is a Leo, aren't you? <laughs> and this is Sparky, and Sparky is a Virgo. Let's see. I like them spa I like all these cards spaced exactly right, so they emit the same energy while I pull them. Okay, so let's dive in, Aries. See what's coming for you, Aries energy. It's a jumpy card. Oh, Ten of Pentacles here. First card up. Okay, let's see what else. I don't know why it felt jumpy. <laughs> this is why I pull the cards this way, because I like to get the feel of the cards. Um, you know, it gives me additional meaning before I actually read the cards. Okay. Aries, what is here for Aries? Okay. Okay, here we go. See what's coming for you guys this last week. All right, here we go, Aries. So let's just start at the beginning here, okay? We've got Ten of Pentacles as the first card up. Now, for some of you, it did come up reversed, okay? Um, Ten of Pentacles is financial stability, but like I said, when I ran my hand over this, the card felt jumpy <laughs> for some reason, like it, you know, when I say jumpy, it's like it wanted to flip for some of you. It kind of had like a lot of energy, had a lot of happy energy, actually. And what I'm getting from this is this card, um, for some of you, is ready to flip over. So if it's upside down for you, meaning a lack of financial stability at this time, um, it's ready to flip, okay? And this in this card, there's a treasure chest, okay? So this is whatever is valuable to you, whatever resources that you have and that you might want to pass on to future generations and things like that, okay? Now, the next card up, which is your challenge card um, this week, is having to do with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is a movement card as, as well as I felt for this one. The wheel always turns, okay? So some of you may feel like the wheel is turned upside down for you on your fortune at this time, but it's in constant motion because it's a wheel. So know that this might be your challenge this week. You might be feeling like you're down on your luck, or you might be feeling like it's just not, uh, things just aren't falling into place for you, but this is getting ready to turn, Aries, okay? So it's a challenge this week, but not forever. Okay, so you might be feeling it this week, but not forever. Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is super good. Um, I feel like what is kind of in your aura this week 
is a release from some kind of a tense situation. So if you've been in a situation where things have just felt like they couldn't go forward, they couldn't go back, um, just know you're getting release from that. This is two of swords reversed, okay? You might be feeling like there's an offer too good to be true. And if you're feeling that, you're probably right, okay? So if whatever it is you're being released from sounds too good to be true, I would question it. And I'm sure you will, but I just wanted to say, because this is Knight of Cups reversed as well. And I'm feeling like this Knight of Cups um, can be an undependable person. It can be um, undependable um, offers, you know, love offers. It can be somebody fickle, you know, that sort of thing. But you're being released from something. You may be being released from this Knight of Cups energy. You know, sometimes this is a romantic card, but it's somebody, like I said, fickle, somebody that uh, is not dependable, maybe a player energy. You might be think, kind of thinking about that. It's not in your future. It's just kind of something that's, um, I don't know, kind of hovering in your thoughts, okay, at this time. This Knight of Wands energy, uh, some of you may have moved, okay? Some of you may have relocated, moved to a new location, gotten a new job, um, somebody may have come to visit you from afar, okay? Knight of Wands is all kinds of things up in the air. Plane flights, all kinds of, you know, literally up in the air, all kinds of things like that. And I feel like this has happened or is happening, kind of moving into the past a little bit at this time, okay? Very fiery card. Sometimes this can be another fire sign, Aries, you know, Leo, Sag might be Aries, that kind of thing with that Knight of Wands. And that person, usually that's a person, not a situation, so that person's kind of moving into your past, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, what's coming up in your immediate future is, I feel like some of you have already been through this separation of this Three of Swords. You know, we've seen this um, in a lot of readings for you, you know, that I've done over the last few months. and. This is upside down as well, which is really good because it means the heartache's kind of ending, you know, and coming up soon, I feel like you're getting past the pain of the separation you went through. I feel like this is starting to dissipate a little bit for you this last week of November. And for some of you, I'm just feeling like you're coming up on the end of the year and you're like, you know, I'm just not going to hang on to that anymore. I'm, I'm just letting go of that. <laughs> you know, it's not as painful as it used to be. I mean, that's what I feel with this upside down Three of Swords energy. Like, yeah, that happened, but I'm not gonna take it forward with me. You know, that's what I get from you, Aries. Like, no, letting go of that, and it's just not affecting me as much anymore, okay? Which is a really positive thing for sure. And alongside that, in your more extended future going up into December, you know, maybe even through the month of December, I feel like also there's a couple of things with this Two of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you're not going to be juggling things anymore. You're not going to be juggling money as much anymore. Good. Reversed. So a release from this. Sometimes this is debt. You might be being released from debt. Sometimes this is being, you know, being juggled by somebody, you know, juggling people. And I feel like that's not happening anymore. I feel like th this is ending. You know, this heartache is ending. This juggling of whatever it is, people or money or debt or whatever it is. Um, that's ending too. It's like, nope, not going to do that anymore, Aries. <laughs> you're heading into a new year coming up in, you know, basically a month and a week. You're not going to do that. You're not taking that forward anymore is what I get from you guys. Now, um, this is interesting. In your energy, this is how other people are kind of seeing you at this time, is as this King of Wands, which is a fire energy. Often this is Aries, okay? And this can be a father, this can be somebody who makes decisions, this can be somebody very passionate, and um, on a bad day, if he's upside down, this can be somebody with a temper, <laughs> okay? This can be somebody angry. And I feel like Aries, um, no, don't get mad at the messenger. You know I love you guys, so don't get mad at me when I say this. But sometimes other people are seeing you like you have a bad temper, and that you are angry, okay, and demanding. So just keep that in mind. You might be coming across to somebody else in your life in that way. Okay? Just for the record. Okay? It's not me. It's just views of others. Okay? <laughs> All right. 
So, and they could be seeing you as well as upright, which is this very passionate individual, but it did come up reversed. So I do read reversed cards. So I'm just, just mentioning it. Okay. So, <laughs> so here's your, um, here's your fears card. This is the chariot. Again, so many of these came up reversed Aries. You know, um, I did shuffle them very well before I turned on the camera. So they're meant to come up this way. All right. And the chariot reversed is not a bad card. It is a success card either way. But when it's upside down, it feels like success is um, through opposing forces. And it feels like success is about to overwhelm you. <laughs> you know, when it's upside down, it's like those horses are about to run in opposite directions and you're feeling like you're going to lose control of the chariot and run off the road. Okay, that's what that means. So it could be coming up into December, um, you know, through the end of this week and into December, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed by things. You might be feeling like things are just um, about to spin out of control. Is <laughs> what this means reverse. It's more a fears card. Uh, I don't see this in your future, but I feel like this is something that might be giving you some anxiety at this time. But this is still a success card. Okay, it is still very good. The best card I see here, Aries, is your final outcome of this particular spread. This is the Eight of Swords re reversed, okay? And this is coming up meaning you're getting released from some sort of very oppressive situation, okay? Something is turning loose of you and I just feel like it's about time, right? So this Eight of Swords is, is saying to me, Aries is getting a break. Aries is being released from this. Now, because it's a collective reading and because um, sometimes, you know, not every card fits every person, every single reading. Okay. You know that. And what I'm getting is now so for some of you, you still might be dealing with whatever the situation is that you feel like you're trapped in. And um, we'll look more into this. I'm going to clarify these cards and get you a lot more details okay but for a lot of you um, you're being released from some sort of very oppressive situation that you've been through that caused you a heartache and caused juggling caused you to feel down on your luck and all these different things let's clarify your ten of pentacles why did it come up reversed and jumpy it felt so jumpy why the ten of pentacles why the ten of pentacles Aries Oh, six of cups, somebody from the past, children. Somebody from the past was a queen of swords. Now, queen of swords is a person who is just really no nonsense. And she's like the queen that, if she, you know, who's impatient and says, off with his head. <laughs> okay, so we've got queen of swords and six of cups here coming up to clarify what's, what's up with this jumpy ten of pentacles, your financial stability. This is what's up with it. This is somebody from your past who um, has lost patience. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's, it is a feminine figure. It is this queen of pentacles who is angry. This is sometimes the scorned woman and she, she wants your 10 of pentacles basically. It's somebody from the past and I feel like there are children involved in this Aries, okay? Now, this could be you. Okay, this could be, you could be the Queen of Swords or you could be dealing with the Queen of Swords. So take it as it resonates. There's nothing wrong with the Queen of Swords, you know. The, <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's warranted. So no judgment here for whoever that is, okay. There's um, Seven of Wands here, which is feeling like you're at a disadvantage. And again, I'm asking about why was your financial stability feeling so jumpy? Eight of Pentacles, so there is good business or good career, good job, that kind of thing. Okay, this is clicking along for a lot of you. So even if it feels oops, feels like it's not with the Seven of Wands that I just dropped, um, the Seven of Wands energy is having to do with you might feel like you it's not working or something. Maybe you feel like like um, I just give up, you know. So that card means. Don't give up, have perseverance, keep going because you actually do have the advantage. You know, sometimes it feels like you don't, but you actually do. So keep that in mind because I feel like your financial stability is kind of up in the air. It's why it felt bouncy, jumpy when I, you know, felt it. And it's why you might be feeling like you're down on your luck at this time. 
And I feel like you are dealing with um, a situation with children, a home, person from the past, um, a king or queen of swords, you know, who, um, who's very difficult to get along with, who wants to um, come after you, you know, in whatever way. Let's see if there's anything else they want to tell you. And meanwhile, you've got your eight of pentacles, so that's really good. Your financial stability might be feeling iffy because of this eight of pentacles. Now, eight of pentacles, I should explain, has to do with career, um, self-employment, entrepreneurs, things like that. And I'm feeling like this eight of pentacles, maybe it feels shaky at this time. Maybe the money is not as strong as you want it to be, or potentially this is having to do with maybe you're worried about your job, but it came up upright. So I'm not worried about your job. This, this looks good. This looks really good. And I feel like a lot of that is, um, is just a worry. Okay. Let's ask about, um, let's ask about this King of Wands reverse. Like why is somebody seeing you in that light? If they are, tell us more about what's, What's that about, or who is that about? King of Wands, that's the one where I said, somebody's seeing you as angry, and don't get mad at me. <laughs> Just the reporter here is off. <clears throat> What's that about? Oh, it's a Five of Swords energy. This is somebody who's really angry at you. How do I explain this? They are projecting onto you, Aries. Five of Swords reversed. This is somebody going, going, poor me. This is somebody playing the victim, Aries. And this is somebody trying to tell everybody else, look how angry Aries is. Angry was, Aries was so angry and mean to me. You know, Aries did this and that. This is somebody really playing the victim here. All right, let's see what else it says. That's eye-opening. That's very eye-opening. Oh, and there's a reversed King of Pentacles. So somebody there is like, they're mad about money or business. Um, or business is not going well. They're blaming you for it. Or their job's not going well. They're blaming you for it. Maybe you're somebody's boss. Um, or somebody's mad because your job didn't go well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's the King of Swords reverse too. Um, all right, Aries, this is, this is heavy duty energy here, okay? So clarifying King of Wands, why does somebody see you, Aries, as King of Wands reversed, which is somebody angry and demanding? Because they're blaming you because of money king of pentacles and boy when you get five of swords where did it go um lost the five of swords card but when you get five of swords and king of swords reversed that's some nasty energy to deal with now all of this did come up like masculine energy so um take it as it resonates this came up as masculine energy too so there may be a situation here where um, men are clashing, you know, masculine energies are class clashing. You know, these could, you know, I always tell people in a collective reading, reverse the roles. If it suits you better, you know, suit your situation, feel free to reverse the roles because in a collective, I can't hit everything. So, but these are all masculine figures that are showing up. So I'm just reading them as they come up. This is, I always consider this the worst, one of the worst people in the deck I wouldn't want to deal with. King of Swords reversed. Very manipulative. Um, verbal abuse can be straight on abusive, you know, depending on the situation. He's got his sword and he's not going to hesitate to use it. You know, he's like um, this is a scary character, especially when it comes up next to this Five of Swords reversed, okay, which is very manipulative, very aggressive, mean energy. Just a mean, nasty Two of them right here. And this is, I was asking, why are people seeing you like that? These are the people that are seeing you like that, Aries. All right, these are the people. Wow. Anything else you need to know about that? I'm just the messenger here, Aries, okay? <laughs> this is making you feel like, I 
can't do this anymore. I see why this oppressive situation and some of you are getting released from that. Some of you are not. Some of you are still um, having to deal with it some. Okay, wait, this card's coming up. Judgment reversed. Okay, so um, judgment reversed. This is, um, <laughs> this is karmic. Aries, just, I'm just going to tell you, you probably already know, this is extremely karmic, all of this. Five of Swords, King of Swords, Judgment Reversed. Very, very karmic energy. That's what's going on. And you know, a lot of people are working through karmic relationships at this time, and it, they're not easy. You know, sometimes they're really hard, and they're really, um, people are really clashing right now. It does mean you are getting rid of any karma and I'm not saying you have bad karma okay I'm just saying this is a karmic situation these are karmic people you might be their karmic um, you know sometimes we get caught up with spiritual contracts in other people's karma to help them burn the karma so take it as it resonates it can really vary from person to person okay you know just because you know you always hear like why do bad things happen to good people sometimes it's because of other people's karma it doesn't always have to be our karma i mean sometimes it is you know i'll acknowledge that i mean a lot of times it is and you have to own that but you don't have to own it if it's not yours so i'm just going to mention that for what it's worth okay because i know a lot of you are dealing with karmics there's a queen of wands in this picture too let's see where are they going with queen of wands the sun, the hermit. There's a queen of wands. And judgment reversed. Is this judgment again? What is this? Oh, wait, I read this card wrong. Okay, this was the lovers reversed. Okay. All right, let me clarify. Back up for a minute. Rewind. <laughs> okay, so when I pulled this, I thought I looked at this and I thought this was a judgment, but no, this is the judgment card reversed. So, yeah. Okay, all of what I said sticks with the karmic part, except I had the cards reversed. So let me go back and clarify. So with this Five of Swords and King of Swords, all that nasty energy I was talking about, it's because of this Lover's card. And this is about... Um, choices that somebody made it came up upside down again this is often bad choices that somebody made in this picture probably these mean characters okay because that's um fits fits with this and also this can have to do with a love triangle situation and somebody's really angry and somebody feels like they're not getting what they want there's verbal abuse here um there's a lot of um demands and playing around and choosing and competitions, oh, all this stuff. Okay, so that card goes with this. Now, <laughs> let's fast forward again. So they, they started to change gears on me with this Queen of Wands. Okay, this is a whole different energy. This may also represent you, um, Aries. So the angry king of wands was here representing you. Now we've got queen of wands upright also representing some of you. So you can figure out where you are in this picture, okay? She is somebody who's like the superwoman of the deck. She does it all. She does her job. She takes care of the kids. Um, you know, she takes care of the home. It's like if you want it done, hand it over to a queen of wands. <laughs> She'll get it done, okay? Very busy and very warm, magnetic, also fire energy, okay? Now, to clarify Queen of Wands, we had the upside down sun. So Queen of Wands is not as happy as she could be. All right, upside down. Sun's not a bad card, but it's a crossing card for her. And she might be alone at this time. So if this is you, you might be alone. You might just be choosing to be alone. Sometimes the hermit is like pulling back to just, um, you know, think your own thoughts for a while. And also, the hermit is lighting the way. The hermit's like, I'm not going to step on that toxic energy because now I've seen the light. Okay? This is what the hermit does. It's like a lot of inner wisdom comes in and finally you see things for what they are. You see that toxic little snake down there. You see his lantern? He's lighting his way. And that snake 
is the King of Wands, Five of Swords, all this nasty energy I pulled earlier that's making you feel so tired, okay? And we've got Judgment reversed, and here it is, the Karma. This is Karma, <laughs> big time. So whether you're King of Wands or the Queen of Wands, you know, the masculine or the feminine side of this, whoever you are in this picture, it's definitely you're going through a karmic situation. You're probably dealing with a karmic person in this picture. And it was some sort of a spiritual contract to like work things out. So let me just get final words for Aries. I realize this reading's gotten a little longer than normal. You gonna bring that Sparky? Can you pick it up? I dropped it. Final words for Aries. Did you get it? No? We've got the vine. Seek out information that will help you, Aries. The casket. Someone is going out of your life or there will be the end of a situation or both. I think it's going to be the end of this oppressive situation that I said you all are being released from. This is the mice card, discord among friends and family, or friends or family, discord. And that could be a lot of this oppressive situation that you're going through, Aries. Final words for Aries, let's see. Last word for Aries. The broken ring, parting of the ways in romance or business. Some of you are gonna be ending that, and that might be the end of this oppressive situation for some of you, okay? So Aries, th there, was, there was good and bad in this reading. I'm going to be honest. This was um, a tough reading. It's, it's not unexpected, honestly, for what I'm seeing. You know, what I've seen with Aries is going through a lot of the stuff. Um, it's not all bad, though. I mean, you're going through a cycle, for sure. You know, you'll come out of it. This too shall pass, as they say. I realize some of you have been going through this for years. You know, it, it's been difficult. Sagittarius went through it for years too and finally have come out most of us have come out the other side so I get it I sympathize with you guys because of that I'm like yeah my fellow fire sign now going through it you know going through the ringer so you are getting there I see um, some people are like leaving comments like nothing good ever happens for Aries and believe me I understand that <laughs> I get it so much I was saying that about uh, three years ago for Sagittarius I was I was like nothing ever ever good happens for Sag I was so mad you know and it's finally starting to turn around I mean it is it's definitely turning around and it will for you guys which is why I mention it okay so hang in there I don't mean for these readings to be like rubbing salt in wounds for you all you know, I don't, but I also don't sugarcoat them because I know you want the truth. So I'm just, um, I just tell you what I see, you know, and I, I hope that that's helpful, you know, to see what's coming. So thank you all for coming in. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.